Good evening and welcome to Solitary Confinement in the Suburbs number 22 from my beautifully clean studio in West Byfleet. I hope everybody's good. Have we got anybody online yet? Oh, we've got a few people coming. I've just had a fantastic day. Hello, Richard. Oh, you know what? I've seen the beautiful... Lorraine Briggs and I saw her here at the sweet gig. Hello Fraser, hello Kevin, hello Martin Saul, hello Kayvon coming calling from Canada. Yeah, very, this is so tidy guys and I've been panicking a little bit because I'm getting a show together for you and it's just so nice to see you and it was really lovely to see Lorraine because I've done so much work with her Hello, Kath Welbeloved. Lovely to see you. Say, nice to see Adrian. Oh, you had a date last week. Or was it with your sons last week? Hello, John Money in Devizes saying hello. BP Herding from... BP, have you moved down into uh, Savannah, Georgia? No, where are you moving to? I know you're moving from New Jersey. Hello, Kevin White from Julian Allen in... Hello, Ferio and Stuart. And Judy from Smoky, California. Julie's a smoking and on fire. She is smoking downstairs. She's probably having a Marlboro light down there. Because we've seen the suite and they were fantastic. They had so many hits. And I'm a bit worried that I'm not really going to entertain you as much as they did. Because they were so entertaining. Mr. Blue Man says, don't worry JC, you'll be entertaining. Hello John Thompson. Oh, great to see everybody online. Now... Today, we've got this really fantastic prize. All of you that bought a ticket, and I've seen a lot of you bought a ticket today, you can win this huge pile of merchandise over there. And even if you haven't got a record player, it's enough to give to Christmas presents to all your friends. It's £100 worth of stuff. And I'm letting you people still buy tickets till the end of the show. And then I'll pick a lucky number and tell you who's won the ticket at the end of the show. But anyway... We're going to start off with them. Um, hello here, Ken Naylor from Lockdown Havering. I thought you were in Romford, Ken. What was, what's happening with Ray Havering? Anyway, I'm going to start off with 1956. Because when I was a baby in my mummy's tummy, the first real rock and roll records were made. And I think that probably that all affects you, you know. When you're in your mummy's tummy and you hear something really rocking, that kind of affects you, so... Are you in the mood for a bit of rock and roll? Guitars and tonight, no soppy acoustic guitars, no wet 
What was her name? Bob Dylan's girlfriend. No D Judy, whatever it is. No soppy, silly folk songs. We is rocking, rocking and rolling. With Kayvon in Canada and Mark Barton up there in Wimbledon. And Sheila needs help. Oh, what the hell do you need help, Sheila? Tom Marshall, great to see you. So anyway, all the guitars I'm playing tonight are really super duper suburban guitars that I make in the studio at the bottom of the garden. Oh, you Johnny and the Hurricanes. Yeah, we're going to do a bit of all that kind of stuff. So we're going to do a sad Elvis now because <coughs> Elvis is a bit sad. Well, ever since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. Down at the end of Lonely Street, a heartbreak hotel. You get so, you get so lonely, baby. You get so lonely, baby. You get so lonely, I could cry. Well, the dance clock tends to keep falling. He's always dressed in black. He's been so long down Lonely Street, he never coming back yet. He gets so lonely, baby. He gets so lonely. He gets so lonely, I could die. Now, if your baby leave you, you got a tale to tell. Just take a walk down Lonely Street to Heartbreak Hotel. He gets so, he gets so lonely, baby. He gets so lonely, baby. He gets so lonely, I could die. So then we started growing up and we didn't really hear, hear that much stuff about it. But you heard there was things out there. Colin Edwards has got a good suburban guitar, yes. So anyway, out there, out of my mummy's tummy, I even started to hear little other parts of rock and roll. And then somewhere in the distance hiding on a file here i found a fast shuffle and we're gonna start rocking that this is a guy called bo diddley and he called himself after a one string guitar called a diddley bow and diddley bo diddley had, was a black man and he played a lot of fantastic rock and roll. And I'm going to play tribute to him here now by rocking something nice and fast. <laughs> Who do you love? Who do you love? Who do you love? Who do you love? 
give me no lift. The night was black and the night was blue. Round the corner and the ice wagon flew. Pop the slip, somebody screamed. You should have heard just what I've seen. I said, who do you love? Who do you love? Who do you love? Gonna turn the beat up now. Yeah, the loop wasn't long enough, Nick. That's why I need you back. I really miss not playing with Nick and uh, Chris. So anyway, we started um, growing up. And then we heard in the distance. We didn't hear it on BBC. In England, you used to hear it on Radio Luxembourg. What's that about? Is Luxembourg the capital of rock and roll? Is Luxembourg Memphis, Tennessee? No, it's not. Because on the BBC, they played rubbish pop records and no rock and roll. But suddenly things started filtering through from this Radio Luxembourg. Rock and roll came from Luxembourg, a tiny little principality with no people, but lots of rock and roll. Because the world didn't want us to hear black men playing electric guitars slide on the radio. And we were desperate for it. Oh, Judy, you're dancing. That's brilliant. And so I'm going to take you to the, the best, one of the best poets in America. Was he a poet? Yeah, he was a poet. And this is a fantastic piece of poetry. It's a bit out of tune, but... And this is a lovely song about a man chasing a woman through a town in a taxi. I don't know if you know what it's called. I've got a nice little rhythm for it though. Let's see if it starts off. It's going to sound good. Are you ready? I got on the city bus, I found a vacancy. 
I thought I saw my future bride walking up the street. I shouted to the driver, hey conductor, you must slow down. Let me out the bus, maybe. Is that you? because the song's going on forever and you know what i'm missing out all your brilliant comments here somebody's put a bird up so what's that? that's a great song isn't it nadine and he is easily as good a poet as bob dylan he chronicled 1950s white america even though he was a black carpenter from missouri he was fantastic <laughs> Things were hotting up in the Carroll household and in Lightwater where I grew up. I hit about 13 years old and the town that I grew up in, there was nothing to do. It wasn't really a town. It was kind of a, like a, a road and one side went to Guildford and the other side went to Camberley. And we had two bus stops and a few shops and it was so miserable. It what they would call in America a one horse town. So me and my brother, we sat beneath the railway tracks playing guitars in gunny sacks. No, we didn't. We would have done if we were Johnny B. Good, but we were boys from Surrey. But there was a boy around the corner and he had a guitar. And God, when he played it, we thought, that's the thing to do. So we thought we're going to get the guitars. And at the time, there was stuff on the radio and there was men playing guitars on records with no soppy singing. They just had guitar records and we thought that was great because when you were a young boy when you're a young boy you don't really like girls and soppy singing. You want just the guitar bit. And um, there was a guy. There was a guy um, who had a pop group in England called The Shadows. And they did this amazing dance. They did this little dance. When they, they, they did a little dance like that. They're like this, I can't, I can't see my feet, but they did a boom, 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 boom dance when they played the guitar. 
and they had this fantastic record called um well i'm going to play it for you i've got it all up and running here and this is a song and it sounds like it's about a red indian or a first nation person mm. And I'm going to attempt to play it for you because it's a really important record. Maybe just get the volume up a little. We'd better shut them. Bob, old oh, poor Chuck Berry's playing in the background here. Yes. Can you shut up, Chuck? Yeah, there we go. He's a nice guy, but he never knows when to stop, you know. So where to, it's time for Hank because I've got a great little song for Hank. Let's see if it's loud enough. <laughs> enough of that I kind of did enough to show you that I can play it and that was a big deal because when you were a young boy and you learned how to play Apache on the guitar it meant that you were almost a professional musician it meant that your whole future no it's great it's, um, it's just a great sounding thing you know and also it was kind of the birth of kind of when um, Hank Marvin went into Abbey Road Studios to record that record, which he did record it in Abbey Road, he had to bring his own echo machine because they didn't have one in, in Abbey Road. And the sound of that... If you listen to it, it's fantastic. And it's, it brings back memories of Ennio Morricone, all sorts of things, because surf was like a really amazing thing. And um, so he was a huge influence on us. And 
we just loved him and the next thing we had to learn because there was a boy down the road that learned that and then he learned this other thing better turn the, turn the echo off House of the Rising Sun it's a little bit out of tune guys so we were there we were on our paths you know we had to get guitars and they were very difficult to get so what you'd have to do you'd have to do a paper round and you'd have to work really really hard to get enough money to get a Woolworths guitar oh what about Gene, Gene Vincent oh yeah I could do a bit I used to do Gene Vincent well She's the woman. Oh, you've got to put echo back on. She's the woman, the queen of the scene. She's the wild one that I know. She's my baby and I love her so. Be bop baloola, she's my baby. Be bop baloola, I don't mean maybe. Be bop baloola, she's my baby to love, my baby to love, my baby to love. Well, she's the woman, the red blue jeans. She's the woman, the queen of the teens. She's the wild one that I know. She my baby and I love her so. Be back Balula, she my baby. Be back Balula, I don't mean maybe. Be back Balula, she my baby to love. And that's Gene Vincent. And Gene Vincent was idolised by the Teddy Boys in England. He was a proper rocker. He had a bad leg and he drank and he took drugs. And he came over here with another incredible rock and roll star, Eddie Cochran. And Eddie Cochran died in a car accident near the A303. And the policeman that to attended the accident was Dave D who went on to become Dave D Beaky Mick and Titch but Eddie Cochran a part of it American rock and roll is forever buried in the West Country and I got that vibe today when I was um when I was down there anyway I kind of digressing because anyway music kind of moved on very quickly from um <laughs> I fought the law. We could do I fought the law. But then somebody really came back. All right. Somebody really arrived on the scene that was just kind of blew everything away. And I kind of made this song that this guy wrote a kind of anthem because it described my work, my life, because deep even know, I was just a schoolboy playing a really rubbish Woolworths Top 20 electric guitar. In my mind, I was... Well, the night I was born, Lord knows the moon, Turn to hell by rain. Well, the night I was born, Lord know the moon, turn to hell by rain. The midwife screamed, Lord, did you know the gypsy was right? And you fell down there. Cause I'm a voodoo child. Lord knows I'm a voodoo child. I was born the 9th of February, the 9th of February, 1956. I was born the 9th of February, the 9th of February, 1956. That made me a sorry boy and a bully child. Well, I 
They had a little party and they were doing, yeah, they had a party. And at their party, they didn't play Jimi Hendrix. They played some really square music by a group called the Beatles. We thought, oh, they can't be any good. They can't be, they, they, I mean, this group, they're kind of really, what can they, I mean, they're just sort of old fashioned music. So, but I thought, you know what, my mum's still alive and she's a lovely woman and she's got great taste. And I thought, well, maybe I'll play a Beatles song tonight because I never play Beatles songs. So let's see if I can get the Beatles guitar out and see what's cooking here. We've got a new guitar. It's got a thing on it there. And at this, I can be also Andrew Previn. Because not only do I play the guitar, I play the whole Philharmonic Orchestra, I think, if this fits on. Come on, Philharmonic Orchestra. <laughs> going here where's all these not quite the sound I wanted that's analog lab take that one out maybe it will sound better like that okay let's do the the um so this song is um dedicated to my parents party where they listened to Beatles records and it I'm gonna start it off Nice bit of sort of trombone rocking on there. And where's the guitar going? Okay, here we go. There's nothing that you can do that can't be done. Nothing that can't be, that wasn't 
meant to be. It's easy. according to plan weirdly enough I, I thought that it would be like a all violins and stuff like that but it turns out it's just trombones they're horror film trombones you know that bit where they're trying to hack into the main frame of the computer and it's really scary and the baddies coming down the corridor you know what they play they always play this films I always want to do that I say JC we just want you to play a bit of accordion we don't want and if any of you are ever making a film and you want to know how to do that it's just C and E minor it's no big deal you don't have to go to a music college for a long time to go oh my god the bears are coming oh it's really fun no it is a fun show tonight and I'm just going to do like a, a really mad uh, progressive rock version of um, King Crimson. And I think I've got it on here somewhere. I'll try that maybe open recently. Uh, 20, yeah, here we go. I'm, I'm not quite sure about this. Yeah, I'm going to close the other thing. Don't save. And this is, um, this has got great lyrics. It's got, <coughs> see if it still works. <coughs> <coughs> It's suddenly playing a drum kit instead of an electric guitar. That's a bit unusual because I should be up here. Okay, here we go. Why is that? Sorry about this. We've got like a technical problem here. But you know, anyway, so I'll read you the lyrics. Maybe I won't even play the song because the lyrics are just so scary. Cat's foot, iron claw. Neurosurgeons scream for more. Paranoia's poison door. 21st century schizoid man. Blood rack. Funeral pyre. Politicians. Innocence rape with napalm fire. 21st century clipscoid man. Death seed. Blind man's greed. Poets starving children bleed. Nothing he's got he really needs. Should we try that? It's a bit. We could try it. I mean, it's kind of. It could be a mess or it could be fantastic. Do you like that song, Martin? Yeah? This is like the kind of. Oh no, you know why? That's, everything's muted. That's why it doesn't sound so good. We'll take it off there. That sounds a bit better now. Now we're gonna try and uh, try and do this song for you now because it's funny.
Before they went art, ah, when they were heavy metal, they were brilliant. So I'm kind of getting really off the track here, and I've lost exactly where I am. And I really should do something nice and relaxing now. Oh, I heard saw my friend Ken's online. Um, my friend Ken is online. I'm going to play his favourite song um, from back in the day. And this is um, you know, when they write a song and they say think they it's about the future. And they write this brilliant song that's going to be about the future, you know. And the future isn't like that at all. And the song sounds a bit dated, but still kind of cool. Well, this is what it, that's that song. We're going to do that song, and it's. So, and this is about what it was going to be like in 1983. What they thought it would be like in 1983. And But it wasn't like that at all. 
there was no giant pencil and lipstick tube state things raining screaming pain what there was was people with wide shoulder pads and synthesizers singing songs like punk had never happened yes i'm sorry i didn't really play that well but um that's what i did on the i've got a kind of nice I don't have a list anymore. I did have a list of songs I was going to sing for you. And I probably have to do... What have I got here? Oh. I've got Ziggy Silas. That's kind of nice. I was going to do uh, the Mark Bowden. Yeah, let's do the Mark Bowden. Turn this down. on this little Stratocaster here and I want some bit of echo on it they do the Hendrix version of Once upon a time you look so fine you threw the bombs a dime in your prime didn't you people say beware doll you're bound to fall and they thought that they were all in you. They used to laugh about everybody that was hanging out. 
drums quite good and the bass is too loud and I can't hear the word. Everybody, thank you very much for all your patience tonight. In a minute, I will go into my lucky box and read out the winner for the um, um, special ticket. But you can still buy a ticket or a piece of merch. I love you guys so much. I even love Nick Cash in a sort of drummer love way. Furrier must have something to eat. Saturday morning, family shop is crowding out the center of town. Young boys sing on the benches, shouting at the other young boys walking around. Johnny's upstairs in his bedroom looking at the light. Hey, what you listening to? There's nothing there that's right. This is the sound of the suburbs. Next week I will play a venue called the Suburbs in Guildford on Friday night. And if you're brave enough to come along, you should come. Because it's called the Suburbs and I'm the sound of the Suburbs. And we have fun, fun, fun and nice to see This is the sound of the Suburb. This is the sound of the Suburb. This is the sound of the Suburb. random tonight and I'm sorry I didn't really kind of I just did all sorts of weird stuff and, and I didn't do the what's I want to do the what's the thing the clash one you wanted the clash one. a lot of people wanted the clash I've got millions of votes for the clash you know and so I should really do the clash song tonight open reach I find the most clash should I stay or should I go yep you know I sort of say that I'm going to do punk rock stuff and then I do really crazy versions of um it's not really fair, is it? I mean, I'm doing King Crimson, you know. But so, should we do that? Ba -na 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 -na. Do you want to do that one? I've got a backing track for it as well. It kind of. So what songs shall I play? Everybody says Clash songs. And then if I did it, I'd sound like a Clash tribute band. And I kind of like the Clash. And it's kind of nice. I'm 
kind of got a move going here. Oh, Thomas Green, somebody just paid me some money by PayPal. Oh. So I see who's won the thing. I'm going to show you what the prize is. Let me go and find out what the prize is because the, pr the prize is totally fabulous this week. I mean, it's like, it's just like incredible, really. I'm giving away enough if, for a really, really brilliant Christmas present for somebody, you know. And it's like a hundred pounds worth of merch. And I'm, you know, you guys have been so brilliant to me. You deserve it. So here we go. This is the merch over here. I'm going to put my trousers up. You win all this. This is what you win. Whoever's going to win is going to win the Members Greatest Hits on limited edition clear vinyl. They're going to win this 7-inch record, which is quite special because it's a song called Smartphone Junkie and it's on a label called Smartphone Label. And on the B side is my punk rock version of Piaf's Non Je Ne Regret Rien. So it's kind of good. So we've got the greatest hits. We've got the book, which some of you've got. And some of you haven't even bought it. I mean, if you're a member, a JC fan, it's got all my songs. So there's some spelling mistakes. It's not all perfectly spelt, but the message is fantastic. Then you get this beautiful poetry here. You get all the words to this brilliant album called One Law. You get a t-shirt, you get this brilliant t-shirt, and you get a CD, and you get a plectrum. And the person that has won this, this week, is Stuart Blythe. Stuart Blythe in Billingham, you are the winner of all this fantastic stuff. And I shall post it to your address in Teesdale Avenue. I don't want everybody to know what number in Teesdale Avenue you live because they'll all be around wanting to borrow your records and stuff like that or you know oh you get this um plectrum as well and um I'm going to give free plectrums also to about five people I'm going to give free plectrums to everybody that plays the guitar so if you play the guitar uh, just send me a message first ten people that send me a message, get a free petrum, and I'll post it to you for free. It's been really great having you on tonight, and I'm sorry that it was a bit kind of random. And I kind of, um, it, but you know what? It was just really brilliant to see everybody online, and um, we had a fa I had a fantastic day today. I went to see the suite, and I was going to play Blockbuster, and I had it lined up, and you know what? They did it so good. I thought, oh, JC, you can't mess that up. The Andy guy is fantastic on the guitar. We sat in a beautiful field with my friends from Devices and I saw I saw John Money and I saw Sherry Qualis and it was just a really brilliant day. And now it's over. I'm going to go downstairs and have a non-alcoholic beer. And, um, see up live. You've won the competition. There's some plectrums going out to other lucky people. If you play guitar, you get a plectrum. Thank you so much for being... Um, Oh, hello to Gary Top. Nice to see Gary Top in uh, Canada. Oh, Gary, can when the plague is over, can you get me another gig in Canada, please, mate? Because I'm fed up with doing these ones on the internet. The people on the internet are all right, but people in Canada are really nice. I mean, Kayvon's there, but there's other people that, and they have nice big apartments, and they invite you out to your um, their um, holiday cottages, and you can stalk elk. You can stalk elk. And things like that in the Canada. And I know Toots is. So we do the Toots Maytal. Toots and the Maytals is gone. Is it you? I can't sing a Toots song because I ruin it. I'll do one for you next week. I know Toots has died, and also the guy from um, the. the um, cool and the Gang have died. Toots and Cool. So that's two people with double O's in their name have died. I wouldn't be like anybody with having double O in my name this week because it's not a good week to have two O's in your name. But um, whilst we're living and we haven't got COVID, it's just really fantastic to see you all online. And uh, I, mean, I will sing an acoustic song. I asked your mother for you. She said... 
you were too young I wish, dear Lord, I'd never seen your face Or heard your lion tongue Irene, good night Came on, good night Julie in the Isle of Wight, good night Good night, Mark, good night Sherry Good night, Fraser Matthew. Good night, Ferial McTavish. Good night, Jesse Mover. Good night, Catherine Wellbeloved. Good night, Adrian French. Good night. If I lost my internet friends, don't know what I'd do. I love you all till the sea run dry. If you didn't tune in on a Saturday, I would take morphine and die. Lorraine, good night. Tom Cullen, good night. Richard Say, Aquino, good night. John Money, good night. I'll stop rambling. I've stopped gambling, I've stopped staying out late at night, I stay home with my internet buddies, by the computer light so bright, Julie, Scott, good night, people that live in Scotland, good night, we don't seem to have any friends in Wales, what's wrong with them, Simon Wrens? Good night, Simon's family, good night, Simon's lovely children, good night, good night Gary Top in Toronto, get me a gig there mate, good night, Ken Pugh, good night, Adrian French, good night, Christopher Turner, Good night. I know you're not online this week and you've got had a bit of a problem. You had a, the screen froze. So I sent you back your money and I said good night. Good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. I'll see you in my dream. Metallica sign, don't be silly. Good night everybody.